Ozempic, the one the drug for weight loss. But is that really true? Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be discussing Ozempic, a medication being used off-label for weight control. We're going to discuss does it really work and if so, how? How much weight can you expect to lose by taking Ozempic and does that weight stay off permanently? We're also going to discuss the pros and cons because there are some severe side effects that can be life-threatening by using Ozempic. And towards the end, I'm going to be discussing the dreaded Ozempic face. That's the latest thing the physicians are seeing in patients that have been taking Ozempic for greater than 52 weeks. Every once in a while, a pharmaceutical company releases a medication that's intended to treat a specific ailment. And in time, we find the side effects of that drug actually treat another ailment. In this case, obesity. Patients who were taking Ozempic noted a significant reduction in their weight. However, Ozempic is not FDA studied nor approved for weight loss. However, Wegovia, which is really a higher dose semaglutide, is FDA approved and tested for weight loss. However, due to the overwhelming demand, it's very hard to come by. So people are starting to take Ozempic. But does that really work and is it safe? So let's start off with, does Ozempic actually cause weight loss? Well, a study was done on just under a thousand patients who did not have diabetes, but had a body mass index greater than 30. They were divided into two groups. One received the Ozempic of 2.5 milligrams every week for 62 weeks. The other received a placebo. At the end of the 62 weeks, the Ozempic group lost 11 to 17% of their body weight versus the group that received the placebo only lost 2% of their body weight. So that's a clinically significant difference. So yes, it seems that Ozempic will definitely cause a reduction in body weight. So how does it do that? Well, Ozempic imitates a naturally occurring peptide that's released from our intestines after we eat a meal. And it basically tells your brain that you are satisfied, you've eaten enough, and it decreases your appetite. So by taking Ozempic, you're artificially creating that peptide. Therefore, in theory, you should have less of a desire to eat and eat less. So the second question is, how long does the weight loss last? Well, in that same study, they found that after they stopped giving the Ozempic, the patients that received the medication and had lost up to 17% of their body weight gained back at least 11% of it versus the placebo group stayed at about the 2% weight loss. So no, it doesn't last forever. So what are the pros and cons of taking this? Well, the pros and cons, the pro would be, of course, you're getting weight loss. The cons are one, the cost. Your out-of-pocket expenses are going to be about $1,000 a month. Also, if you speak to someone who did this, they're going to tell you they suffered for it. This tremendous nausea, vomiting, intestinal cramps, diarrhea, constipation, but those are really nuisance ailments and they can be tempered down by adjusting the medication properly. And I'm going to discuss that in a minute because I think you should be seeing an endocrinologist before you go start taking Ozempic. The more serious side effects are the development of thyroid cancers or thyroid neoplasm and an incidence of pancreatitis, which is an inflammation of the pancreas. Might not sound like much, but pancreatitis is exquisitely painful and potentially life-threatening. And the other significant complication is the development of the Ozempic face. And I'm going to be discussing that very soon. Ozempic is not the type of medication that you should be seeking out on the internet and importing through Canada or from other resources and just taking it haphazardly. It's the type of medication that could get you into a lot of trouble. And I think the best way to do it would be under a doctor's supervision. Ozempic should be titrated 
over a five month period, increasing the dose every month. It should start low, given once a week for four weeks and increasing every month to the full dose, which is anywhere between 2.4 and 2.7 milligrams per week. If you should start taking it more than that or take it more than weekly, which is really human nature, if you're not supervised to really want to lose the weight and start overdosing yourself, that could get you in really big trouble. It would probably significantly increase the risk of you developing that pancreatitis or the thyroid issues. So it should be really titrated carefully. That will lower the side effects and make them more tolerable at the very least and get your body accustomed to this in a longer period of time. So the best thing you could do is if you were going to use Ozempic, to use it to kickstart your weight loss and then switch off to a really healthy diet and exercise program. Now let's talk about the Ozempic face. The Ozempic face is a loss of facial fat in the lower face, the lower jaw, the submentum, and the buccal fat. And when we lose fat in those areas, we tend to look gaunt and we tend to look aged. And the reduction of facial fat is probably a function of the rapid weight loss some people lost 50 to 70 pounds over the course of one year. Now, theoretically, once you start gaining weight, that facial fat should come back. However, doctors have been seeing patients coming in very young, yet looking gaunt. Well, I hope you learned something about Ozempic and understand what all this talk is about with this latest medication. And you should know now if it's something you want to do and if it's for you at all. Just understand that it's not lifelong and there are some complications to taking the medication. Take care. Have a great day.